This is a tutorial to show you how you can get a Commodore Amiga emulator complete with a hard drive and WHD load support. Um, WHD load is basically a gaming tool that allows you to play a lot of the old Amiga games designed for older systems and those that were originally only on floppy disk and it will allow you to install them to this virtual hard drive we'll be uh, emulating. So um, from this page here go to UAE there, download the link, that will give you this zip archive and then you expand that and that will give you this folder here with these files in there. Now before we begin you're going to need a workbench disk image, you can either do that from your original disk or you can go here to old games finder search for workbench under Amiga games and we're going to be looking for this particular uh, file there. I'll put the file name in the video description um, rather than the link because I think the links could change um, or you can get this from wherever you want basically. You're also going to need a kickstart image, same thing here, old games finder, kickstart, Amiga games, do a search and we're going to be looking for an Amiga 1200 uh, disk image which is this one here. So not a disk image, this is a kickstart image or a firmware, whatever you want to call it. So download that um, and also we're going to need a few other ones, these ones here. So if again I'll put these file names in the description. Look for the exclamation mark, that means it's been confirmed as a working ROM or it's sort of like the best one if you like. Um, and download these ROMs. These are used with WHD load for the, for the game support. So once you've got the archive expanded, it takes a while to expand so I've already expanded it. And in the ROMs folder here, we're going to copy on Control C here and paste Control V, and we're going to re this is the Amiga 1200 one here, and I'm going to rename that to Kick3, so it reads Kick3.rom, and then from here I'm going to double click Win UAE. Let's give me a little warning about the ROMs. That's fine for now. So and in paths there, just make sure it's going to the ROMs folder inside Classic work Workbench, which it is. So first thing to do is go to configurations and double click run me first. So it's now telling you you need the workbench disk. And just push return and return again and now it's saying set the disk. So push F12 on the keyboard and go to floppy drives. And we're going to click these little dots here to find the disk. And there it is, I've just already downloaded that and popped it in the, my little disks folder. OK that and push return so it's it's recognized the disk and now it's going to read the contents from that disk so while that's loading I'll just show you um, if you push your middle mouse button which is on your mouse wheel normally that'll take you out of here and you can go into other programs while it's doing its thing you can see it's loading from the disk there uh, if I go to WHT load there's a search page and you can search for a particular game installer not the game itself and that will allow you to install that game onto our hard drive that we're going to have um, within UAE, which is brilliant. So I've already searched for the Settlers, and there's the uh, install there. And then I'll just click that, and I've downloaded this uh, LHA file there. So that's all ready for later on can see this is still chugging away doing stuff so I'll just let this go through the motions. So you're going to need a reasonably fast computer because Amiga emulation is quite complicated um, and this is also using a slightly older version than the current version of UAE as you can see this is from October 2013 but it's a very um, capable version there aren't really any issues so I can see that's ready now so I'm just going to go back to this it's asking us how do we want our icons to look um, do I want the old icons or the new ones? Let's have the new ones. So I'm going to click Disable Old Icons. And that's going to chug away for a bit. Okay, please remove the workbench disk and reboot. So push F12, make sure on floppies eject and reset. So now we are here and actually now I need to go to configurations and run me second then delete so it's going to go through a similar sort of process again return again and insert the workbench disk again so F12 um, floppy drives 
these little dots to find the workbench disk. Okay, and again, push return. Oh, retry that because I pushed it too quick. So it's going to go through and install the second part, which doesn't take that long, really. But I'll let it chug away. Classic workbench, you can use that on a real Amiga as well. I used to use it on an old Amiga 1200, and it really made it quite a lot easier to use. So what this is going to give us is a very simple way of running Amiga games without a lot of the hassle. Because you can run UAE by itself, and you can download your ADF images of games and it works very well but unless you used Amigas um, and you knew what you were doing a little bit um, back then you probably wouldn't know how to get a lot of these older games working and that's where WHD load comes in because that makes everything a lot easier it does all the the it sort of chooses the correct um, kickstart image and the correct sort of boot disk etc blah de blah and basically um, WHD load makes you play the games easier without all the hassle um, so I'm just waiting for this to load, shouldn't be too long. Right, okay, <laughs> so what theme do we want? None, retro, regen, let's have the retro theme. So it's going to do that. Retro theme stored, return. Do I want the copper background? I don't want that, so disable copper. The, the copper background, I think it uses the copper chip, I believe, and that will give you a sort of nice gradiated background, but I don't really like that. So, remove the disk, F12, eject, OK, oops, and forgot to reset. So you should now be booted up into this nice retro looking um, interface, depending on what option you picked. They're all pretty much similar, some just feature slightly different looking backgrounds or icon sets, but we should still have a system partition which is basically the old workbench, uh, would have been called workbench, and this PC partition, they're the important ones for now. PC matches whatever's in this folder inside WinUAE, so whatever I put in there, like this Settlers uh, installer, which I downloaded, and some various other files, they will appear in the Amiga. So what we're going to need to do, um, the kickstart images here, we need to rename these, so this first one's the Amiga 500, the second one 600, that's the 1200, that's 4000. And they need to be renamed like this, so 500, 600, blah, blah, blah. And I'm going to put those in this PC folder. So I'll just go back into the Amiga, close that, double click, and now these, uh, I can now see these files. So devs and kickstarts, I'll just bring this window to the front. Move these kickstart images into that folder. Just make sure they're in there, which they are. And this Settlers Archive, I think I can just copy this into the RAM disk for now, temporarily. Very good feature the Amigas used to have. And I'm going to right click on that, go to Actions and Unpack. I'm going to change the um, output. Uh, oh, I see. It's not giving me an option. Let me just see if I can type in RAM disk. RAM disk. See what that does. Okay, so Extract All. And if I now close this down, in here I've got the Settlers HD installer. So when I restart, this will this will disappear. We don't need the installer once the game's been installed anyway. So everything's now ready. We've got our Amiga running. Um, the next thing we're going to need are the ADFs. I'll put a, a link in the video description where you can get some ADFs. Um, but there are so many places you might want to hunt around for a specific game. Um, obviously, or you can create your own from your original um, Amiga discs. Some of them might not allow you to do that because of protection, um, hence why you might well be searching for these online. So anyway, so I'm gonna, now going to double click install because I've got the uh, the Settlers ready in my discs folder, one of my favourite Amiga games. If you just choose Intermediate User, that's generally fine. You can do Expert and go through all the motions, but um, the uh, Intermediate is fine. If you go to pretend to, to install, if you're worried that it might install in the wrong place, it's a really good thing because it goes through all the motions and, and you can sort of see what it would have done. Anyway, so I'm going to install for real, I'm going to pick the English version. Um, this is just telling me about the usual disclaimer crap, so I'll close that. Now, where should it be installed? Uh, so let's go in games. A lot of this is all pre configured, so that's quite handy. And I'll put it under uh, T. 
for the and it's saying that the settlers will be installed automatically I think it's probably already in there but we'll just click proceed uh, normal icons fine and insert the disk so oops push F12 to find the ADF so in this case it's this one there okay and wait a while and proceed so the way it goes and this is pretty much the process for any other games you would like to install that's quick so insert disk 2 I'm sure it's not gonna be that quick so disk 2 okay proceed let's wait a little while okay now and away it goes so and now disk 3 so eject that disk 3 I must have floppy acceleration on or something because it's doing it very quickly click proceed <laughs> I keep doing that so now it's recognize the disk and away it goes for the third one installation complete the settlers can be found in your software games T drawer so that was really simple wasn't it so let's close this down again what was in the RAM disk will be lost so that installer will go we don't need that anyway and um, I'll just eject that third disk eject okay so um, software games I think it's in T the settlers and there it is and that's pretty much it I'm gonna double click it but it may well um, go through the motions ah that's the one thing to mention this is the non registered version you have to wait for this um, text to draw every time or you can get hold of um, the key file I think it is or purchase it is well worth purchasing it's a very good program I did actually purchase it ages ago but I no longer have the Amiga anymore unfortunately so you just wait for that for a few seconds and then the game will now start very quickly it po pops up with some options there not quite long enough to read but I think it was basically push F10 to um, get out of the game so I'll push F10 because I don't want to go through the installer but anyway it works really well and that's pretty much it that's the process you need to do for all your games so again get hold of the um, WHD load file Again, that was from the whdlow.de website and I just did a search so you'll need to find your ADF for the game uh, find the WHD load installer and just rin uh, rinse and repeat really to do that process for all the games you want installed and then if you uh, if you go through all of this you will have a nice little archive of lots of readily installed games and that's it um, hope this was uh, useful for somebody out there and you have a lot of fun playing the old Amiga games if you've got any questions please send me a comment below and I'll do my best to help um, if you'd like to see more of this sort of thing please click the like button or subscribe thanks very much